Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit. I'm a dermatologist practicing aesthetic medicine in Bangalore from the last 18 years. The buzzword in skincare is retinol. So we all like retinol as dermatologists because it's a wonderful agent for anti-aging, anti-pigmentation as well, and it suits most skin type. And as patients, you love it because you know there has been so much hype about it either on YouTube or Instagram and everybody wants to use it. So what are the things that you should know about retinol? Retinol is a vitamin A group of medicine. When applied to the outer layer of the skin, it's going to cause a shedding or exfoliation of the outer layer of the skin. It also works by increasing the collagen in the skin so the skin appears more tight, more lifted, more plump more brighter and definitely it reduces the pigment load of the skin as well so it looks brighter but there are some things that you should watch out when you start using retinol in the practice the first thing is always use it at night retinol makes your skin super sensitive to the sun so you should not use it in the morning and as a corollary for the same you need to always use a sunscreen when you're using a retinol second thing retinol dries out the skin so make sure that you're using a very gentle face wash and using a good moisturizer at least once or twice a day when you are going to introduce retinol into your practice. I usually tell my patients to start using retinol once to twice in a week and apply a moisturizer before and after application of the retinol. So sandwich the retinol between two layers of moisturizer till the skin starts getting used to retinol. So the first month you would use retinol twice a week, then the next month you could increase it to three times a week and continue as required. You could also increase the concentration of the retinol as required so that you know you could reach the optimum concentration needed for your age. To understand more about which is the retinol which is suitable for you or whether you should start retinol in your skincare, please speak to your dermatologist.